Yeah, good luck to you too. See where you are in the pod in relation to me. A couple seats away. IMAX Theater there once again. IMAX Theater has been in a ton of drafts with me. Yeah, I do think we're taking the rare. I mean, we just saw how good sweepers were. Uh, Mez Fiend is good. Narcissism is good. Monk is good. Terra's Faithful is playable-ish. Churning Eddie, not bad. Yeah, Organ Grinder can sometimes do, do some work. Boop. Alright, so... Yeah, how many trophies does IMAX Theater have? Because I swear they're in my pod like half the time here. They have four trophies. Okay, it's not... Um, not too shabby. Whew, Putrid Leech? Oh, wait, we got past Nemesis of Reason. This card's a bomb, chat. So you just attack with this, like, if you're just able to attack like a few times with this card, they just die. It's worth splashing. It's not a card you should be passed. Putrid Leech is definitely good. Remnant can be good if you don't have like counter spells. I like Jesse and Zombies. Sojourners is good. Kawaddle, Pride Mage, everything's good. This is nuts. Also, it's very likely to survive the Mutilate. You're able to like play Nemesis of Reason, then your opponent puts seven toughness or whatever of blockers, and then maybe mutilate. Oh yeah, we've got some all-star artworks here. Ooh, bound in moon or bound by moon silver. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to take because we have sleep paralysis now versus bound by moon silver. I think I'm supposed to take the better card. Like I can take this. Uh, yeah, the Black Vessel's not too bad. I don't think it's a high pick, um, but it, yeah, it's not bad. I want to take a removal spell. I think I'm just supposed to take the white one. Yeah, it really could be better to take the Sleep Paralysis. But I feel like I have a strong commitment to black so far. I feel like I don't have a strong commitment to blue. This has only got one colored pip in it, so I'm happy to splash either of these. We could just end up playing a totally different deck, too. Okay. I think this card is bad, but let's quickly scan the rest of the pack. Initiate of Blood. Oh, the Egg Watcher can be playable. Oh, there's just a Divination. There's just a good card. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't have to worry about any of this draw you two cards nonsense. Um, I can just take this. Egg Watcher is good, though might end up being pretty sad that I passed that sleep paralysis, but I don't think Sizen is good. It is a 5 mana 6-5 though. It's just so horrible if your opponent kills it. I don't know. Maybe that card is way better than I think it is. Sizen isn't good. Um, this is okay, but I think we're supposed to take the flyer. Yeah, the bounce spell isn't bad. At this point, I'm starting to wonder if we're supposed to be blue, white, splash, black, though. And I'd just rather take a creature, even though I do think retrieval is fine. Uh, happy now with the Noble Templar. No, I just I just think the white cards in the pack are better. But I'm pretty happy with Noble Templar. I mean, Unburden is totally solid, but now we can end up blue, black, splash, white, potentially, using the Templar as fixing. I do like white a lot in general, and I do think white is underdrafted, but I'll draft whatever I think is open. Oh, there's Corrupt. Interesting. But the Cohort is actually really good, and Corrupt, while it is strong, it's 6 mana. Power Plant Worker is not bad. I just feel like we're not actually... I think we can pass Corrupt, though. I think if we just have, like, three Swamps in our deck, it's basically Essence Drain. I don't think I am blue-black. I think I'm blue-white splash-black. I think Mutilate doesn't make our deck, and I think I splash Nemesis of Reason. This Cohort is a really good card. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is what's happening. Okay. Um, I could just take this... 5 mana make a goat, basically, because you have to tap the land itself. I don't think this does anything. This is just a 2-3 that gives stuff flying for 4 mana, so I think the land is more valuable. Well, if the colors aren't open, then I don't have to play it. 
turning at ease okay. Like we just really haven't seen, we've seen some good black cards, but not very many. Best card in this pack. I mean, this is gold, but this is just a mono red card. I guess people don't know how the Sojourners work. This is just Zap. Yeah, Zap is a nice one. These cards all suck. I'll take the behind the scenes. These cards don't do anything either, do they? No. I'll take the Grey Ogre. And this equipment has got to be better than a random 1-1. One, one. Not that it means we're in black. This bird guy is actually pretty good. 3 mana 1-4. It's just a nice blocker. Oh, nice. We even got this 2-drop. Yay! Alright, let's see if we can get some fixing. Oh, Solemn Recruit. Oh, Untethered Express. Well, here we go. Here we go. Is I don't even know. Is Solemn Recruit? I'm not even sure if that's better than the Express or not. I assume the Express is just the nuts. Always. Even when I have too many 4-drops, which is usually... I, I like Pacification Array, I just think Express is crazy. I'm just going to assume Nemesis of Reason is going to end up in my deck. Alright. That one hurt my soul a little bit, but that's okay. I think I now have to take a rest over a gold mirror. Is there, yeah, was there like a print run or something, Smasher? I think there might be a print run. Goldmere and Farsight Mask, both interesting, but Arrest is just perfect. Yeah. It's kind of annoying. I hate print runs. Ooh, Sir Allen. Reaper of Night, also very strong. But I think we're going to Allen it up here. alley -oop. I don't know, that was pretty bad. <laughs> um... Yeah, this is the first good black card we've seen for a while. I mean, this deck looks like a good trophy. We've got a lot of strong cards. Colors seem open. I'm, I wonder if I'm supposed to take Skyclave Squid? I think I'm supposed to take Seafloor Stalker. I like McKinney Stampede a lot, but I think it's time for a 3 mana 2 3 guy. This is a wizard. Which could matter. <laughs> I have a bird here. It's kind of funny. I don't hate the squid, and if it wheels, I'll be pretty happy to play it. Hmm. Four mana, two four flyer now? These cards are okay ish. Curve is getting a little worse. There we go. Oh, Mistfire Adept. That's a good card. But I think... Huh. Am I supposed to take Sandblast? There's also Jeskai Sage and Right Into Being. I think I can take Sandblast. I shouldn't wheel a playable from this pack, but if I just get like a random Right Into Being or even the Cleric here pretty late, then I'd be happy. Yeah, like anything blue or white from this pack... But it should be like the random rare and the um art or the aura that come back probably. Ooh, Night Veil Sprite. That's a very good card. I think I have to take that over Skyline Scout. And the 10th District Guard. Oh wait, oh no, there's a Demir Guild Gate. Dear God, why do they do this to me? Oh, this is a really tough one. Smasher, do you have an opinion on this? Demir Guild Gate versus Night Veil Sprite with Nemesis of Reason on the splash. <laughs> I think it's the land. Sprite? Okay. Okay, well, 3 mana 2 2 flyer, totally fine. Nice. And now. I don't think I want to play this, but I do think the Watchful Automaton is playable. Yeah. 
it's definitely a really good card. It just, I don't know, makes me sad. Okay, I take Regress as bad interaction. I don't think we need to play it. I think our deck might be too good for it, but well, maybe Churning Eddy is worse. Oh, okay. I could take So Tiny or I could take Steel Gaze Griffin. I think it's So Tiny, just as a cheaper card. Griffin's fine. I'm not very good at drawing cards, though. Definitely glad I'm blue-white. And McKinney Stampede, sure. And random terrible fog for the sideboard. Ooh, right into being. There we go. I did not think we were getting a playable back from that pack. This deck actually is in really good shape. We're missing two drops specifically, and we're missing fixing. Oh, nice. And we even get a bear. Last pick. Let's go. Oh, this seems insane. Trying to see the rest of the pack here, though. Ooh, Scholar of Athreos. Do love that card. Well, here we go. Century of the Underworld is really good, too. Sure. We might be in the rare spot where McKinney Stampede is actually not worth it relative to a Plains. Smasher, do you think... Do you think that um, McKinney Stampede is ever just not worth it? In a deck like this? Yeah, okay. I'll still play it then. Hmm. This pack does nothing for me. I hate these packs. It's not even... In a, a nice guild gate for me would be awesome. Sure. Uh, I kind of just want to, like, hate draft Blast of Genius. Or, like, Trostani Summoner. I don't have any fixing for either of those, do I? I guess I'd be more likely to want the summoner, slash I feel like it's easier to lose to that. Hmm. Blast is the better card. Eh. Alright, two mana, three one. Sorry, Oculus. Okay, what do we have here? Tamiya's Completion? We don't need Futurist Operative. Don't need Bronze Cudgels. Don't need that. Don't think I need Cancel. Yeah, let's just take more Premium Removal. This deck is really good. Still no fixing. Smasher, would you ever splash Nemesis of Reason with just Swamps in this deck? I feel like this deck might be good enough that I like don't need to do that. Uh, Basilica. Sorry, Attendant. Sorry, Mirror Custodian. Let me just check and see what this is. Yeah, it's just... It's just a mana rock. Or wait. Hmm. You just, like, tap it over and over? I don't know. I don't think it's that good. It's a lot of turns of tapping it. Okay. Inspiration. This Knight of the Mists is going to tilt me after not being able to destroy my opponent's knight on time. Ooh, Bonds of Faith, look at that. I don't actually think I'm supposed to play Nemesis of Reason now. Which is maybe absurd, but I just think my deck is so good without it. And I don't like the hit to the consistency. It's also expensive. Maybe it comes out of the sideboard in some matchups. Hmm. Oh, crumb crumbling necropolis. Just as I say that, we get fixing like the last possible chance. Sighted cast sorcerer. Would you now play it though, now that I have the necropolis? I think I would. Okay, we did wheel a scholar. I don't think I take the Bronze Sable. I think I'll take the Scholar. Scholar is good. Well, there's your Blast of Genius. We did it again. 
better than Nemesis. <laughs> um, could just take two mana, one three vanilla. Whoops, what the heck is going on here? Oh, you like the tiger? I think I don't need that many fours though. I already have a lot of fours. I can take this guy instead. And it's just a 1 3 that doesn't do anything. Ah. Shoot. I tried to take the, the other 1 3 because I actually think it might have been good. I don't know. Someone's going to want their 2 drop. I wanted the artifact 1 3 there at the end. Because artifact 1 3, I think, actually can do some stuff in my deck. I'm not sure it makes the main, but like, let's just take a second to look at everything. Don't have more trophies than you. Yeah, I don't think that's possible, so you should be all set. Cast this and activates this, casts uh, and flashes back that, Cast this. Um, it monstrous is that, it activates this activates this. Cycling's an activated ability. I think that's it. Okay. We will not double splash Blast of Genius off the Crumbling Necropolis. That'll be my responsible act of the day. Uh, You mean eight matches you won 2-0 in a row, right? How does this work? This card seems kind of good. It's a 4 mana 3 4 blocker, and then you can deal the opponent 3 damage with it repeatedly. Deck literally is too good. <laughs> like, I'm gonna have trouble making cuts. Three drops. I don't think I want this. I might want this. I think Watchful Automaton is just worse than Right Into the Being, or Right Into Being, whatever. And then. Play 17 lands plus Noble Templar. I kind of want to play two card draw spells. Just play this as my last spell. If my opponent can destroy enchantments, I'm going to be in trouble. I'm supposed to play two swamps. Of course it wants one. It wants nine, seven, one. Oh, let's go up here. Down there. Down two. And down another one. And then that brings us to, how many is this? 14? Do I have enough blue sources? 
I actually might not. One, two, three, four, five, six. I must have enough white sources there, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, so I guess it's a very easy island over plains. So I have the Templar and everything. Seven should be good. Three, four, five, six, seven. Three black sources, eight white sources, not counting the, whatchamacallit. All right, goodbye, red, black. I really liked this deck. This deck was good. It's just like fun to play. Playing against Biz one. Okay, good hand, keep. Biz one is one and one. That's a lot of ones, biz. Go. Don't think I need an upkeep stop in this deck. Let's see if they have a two two flyer. Nope. Combat. Basically keeping most spells. That's not a spell. I think I'm supposed to really good. Okay. 2-2 two, two is tapped, right? Yeah. Top. Two drop, two drop, four drop, nemesis of reason. spells do you have upon it? Oh, dear God, okay. Now go for this. We're out here milling. Milling for a killing. I don't know. <laughs> Top. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> This deck is so freaking insane. Okay, if this deck doesn't trophy, I'm gonna be sad.
we'll just do our best. It, it doesn't really matter if this deck trophies, like just because it in theory is like utterly cracked beyond belief doesn't mean that I'm like owed a trophy. So we'll try to get that out of my head. I mean, what does the opponent do here? They're behind on life, behind on board, behind on cards in library. They're not behind on cards in hand. Okay, that says 7-7. Seven, seven. Okay. <laughs> this is just unreal. Oh, they have... Oh, Power Stone Fraction, maybe? Infernal Harvest. While that is good, that will not cut it. Because I'm just going to mill you out after next turn. Oop. And I get to see your whole deck, which has Isochron Scepter in it, which is a good card for me to know about as I spew my Tamios whatever on your thing. Now you have to answer this, and you don't have very much mana to do it. Yeah, okay. I mean, they put up a fight. Their deck does look good. Let's take a look here, because we see a, a lot of cards from them. Pressure Point, Recommission, Famished Paladin, 3-1. Do they have any synergies with the Famished Paladin? Oh, they do have the um, Diagraph Scavenger. Toil is good. Flying Torment, not bad. Hmm. That could be a problem. The Exile Target Creature. Yeah, they've got a good deck. This Mournful Zombie's not ideal. Overall, like their card quality is good. I could lose. Not a fun topic to bring up, but like, could imagine losing to a player with this deck. I don't know. Did we see anything that looked good against what they had in Graveyard? I guess Regress can beat up Isochron Scepter. I don't hate Regress here. Maybe better than an inspiration. I don't know. Not very sure about that. Okay, another good hand. Great. Sure. We now have double blue. Quarter goons, there it is. No blocks. Gurgans is so busted. Swamp. Attack. Hope my 6-6 six, six kills you. I really want to win against two games in this opponent if possible. That's a little annoying. That's their only play I think I'm happy to send in the clowns. Oh wow, it's actually kind of good here. I don't think it's better than playing Scholar of Athreos, but I do think it's good.
Judge unworthy, maybe? Yep. I wonder if I was supposed to... Zealous persecution. Oh, goodness. Well, that's really bad for me. I don't think I can block now. I would have made a different play this turn if I knew they had Zealous. Go Isochron Scepter. Imprint. Could certainly lose to this player. Just because we have a pretty good draw doesn't mean we're guaranteed to win or anything. I've got to take my two, unfortunately. See what the opponent does here. Oh, if they're just passing, then I'm pretty happy. Wait, does this kill them? No, because they have zealous persecution. Sure. I think that's pretty good. All right, chat, here we go. Precipice of defeating an opponent with a really solid deck. Okay. So what's their plan? Two for one themselves to kill me? Oh, Infernal Harvest? It does feel like they're gonna Infernal Harvest. And then what are they playing with their two remaining white mana? Or they're casting a... Wait, what? Oh, Zealous Persecution too. Okay, okay. Does this kill them? I think so. So now we do this. Yay, okay. Well, if we can defeat them 2-0, then I have high hopes for this deck, chat. This deck is really not fair or reasonable. Playing another 1-0. Can we win the die roll for once? No. Nope. All right, I think we keep this, and I think Stampede is just gonna be a land here. I'm going to be, I don't think I'm going to tilt if I lose with this deck, but I am going to be sad. If we lose to Jungle Delver, I might tilt. Okay. This deck is like the perfect reason that like trophy decks are not the ones that should be like commemorated, right? Because sometimes you just have a nutty deck, whether or not a trophies. <laughs> okay, fine wall. And the hope is that the opponent leaves the jungle delver back to block the skyjack. Forest, okay. Does that go into hand? It does, okay. Well, Plains is not the best draw, but that's okay. Did 
attack, maybe. Probably not. They do go for the attack. That's a little strange. Maybe they're a really aggressive deck? I don't know. Can't block. So they have like more crap that I don't want to trade with. Okay. Fine to trade that one. See what the opponent does here. Find double blue, which is very nice. Oh, they take it. Opponent's playing a strange game. I wonder if they're like super aggro. This just gains flying if you find a Kithkin or a soldier. Or plus two, plus two, and flying in Vitalins. Okay, so it's fancier than that. mana. We will just block the jungle delver with the scholar. Don't care if the scholar dies. If the opponent just pumps the delver so there's a counter on it, then that's okay with me. We are 100% blocking. This is just a 1-4. This really indicates you don't have a trick. Or if you do have a trick, it's just plus 2, plus 2, and I will snap off a block regardless. Two counters, maybe? Some 4 mana cards that put two counters on something. Or an X spell. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. It's kind of annoying. We want to kill the 4 4 at this point. So. The play here is to sandblast the opponent's 4-4 after attacks but before blocks. And the point of that is um, then if they have a pump spell or something like that, then we can block with our 3-1 and finish it off. Oh, that's a nice... Nice card to have there. It's really bad for me, actually. I need the 4-4 to attack. If the 4-4 doesn't attack, I'm actually really far behind, I think. Okay. They chose to attack. Start by doing this. Now we're happy to take one damage. Hoping to use our 3 1 to trade with the horn, whatever guy. We'll do this and then. Not sure what the opponent's going to do next turn. We would like to draw land. If they find a four power creature, then we are going to be in trouble. Unless we draw land, at which point we probably cycle the Templar. Let's see if they have some kind of aura that pumps something. Ooh, that's actually really nice. But wait, they can't crew it. Yeah, if they crew it, they have to use the horn beetle. Okay. So now, it's the ultimate question. Am I supposed to plane cycle or not? I think no. Bit of a punish, but I think I'm happy enough just going for the arrest. I 
one is disconnected. I assume they're coming back. I'm not sure about how I play this. And I feel like I have to answer the horn beetle, but now they have a creature that can permanently crew. I think I'm not supposed to attack. Maybe I'm just supposed to play Cycle the Templar main phase, play it. Play the land, that is. I don't know, I think maybe that's just bad. Let's just go for... I don't want to attack for five. Let's just do it. Block. Uh oh. That's pretty good. It's another reason not to um, end cycle. I think. Another five mana card. Nightly power, okay. That's really good. That's really annoying. Happy to trade if they crew the carve though. Oh wait, puts the land into play tapped, right? Okay, good. They found a planes off the top and tapped my thing, I would cry. Now I'm starting to actually get punished for not having land cycled. That's starting to get pretty annoying. <laughs> I'm actually going to die. I should not have died from here, I think. It's not supposed to trade damage. Yeah, I played this game poorly. Shouldn't have traded. I think my biggest mistake was trading the 3 1 for the 1 1 after all. I might just die to a combat trick like right here, right now. I feel like I need to top deck. I think I killed myself by not cycling. I think I'm actually dead. Well, somehow down a game with this deck. I mean, the opponent had strong cards, but not comparatively. <laughs> hmm. Well, what can I do against this? Maybe so tiny? Just 
want like a random 1-3 or something maybe? I don't think so. Again, let's take out inspiration. Just try again, I guess. Next time I will plane cycle quicker. Seems good enough. Hunt up mulligans. I'm gonna be really sad if this deck loses to Jungle Delver. Okay, Sandblast is good. drop from the opponent, also good. Can't use our Sandblast this turn cycle unless they somehow have haste, but we can. Um, well, can go 4 drop into unreasonable 5 drop. I almost wish they put up more of a fight this game just because I want to see a little bit more of their deck to know how to sideboard for game three because game three we're going to be able to draw, which obviously will be a lot harder than what's going on right here. Hostile, hostile. Okay, that's a good one to know about without even knowing what it does. I'm pretty sure of that. Yeah, okay. All right, what does this do? Flips into a 3-7. Well, okay, so maybe another, yeah, maybe another reason to play Regress. Let's see if we can find anything worse. Probably not. Okay, here we go. The hostile is really good against me though. Yuck. Well, mulligan time. This hand is good at least. Ditch this four drop. Land is nice. if they have a carve here. Carve could be pretty bad for me. 2-2. Two, two. Okay. The extremely rare relevant 10th district guard text coming through. We already have four lands, so at this point for spells. I don't think I can keep that since I have no black mana, or I could keep that and try to find black mana. I think it's not reasonable to keep it here. shield, there it is. Should be totally fine for me for now. Attack me for three. No blocks. 
going to be a little bit sad if we rip a swamp off the top. We did not. I think that's good enough. opponent not to have land into knightly valor that would be a big problem that would be a big problem let's see if they go for an attack they do okay well i think i have to block That's fine. Oh wow, that's really good for me actually. Wait, so shouldn't the light shield, or no, I guess the light shield couldn't attack. All right, so now we get to go, now I think we win. Divination, play three one. Attack, top. Now we have a sick position. Cycle, yeah, should be getting there. Whew, lost the game and got scared, but the opponent losing their 3-3 reach, yeah. They're playing some good cards, but I don't think it's going to matter. Do this, this. I think the 2 2 actually stays back. I think I don't want that. I'm really glad I got rid of that nemesis. Wonder if they just trade the sun's tactician. Yeah. I think I'm happy about that too. Air Marshal. Rest. That's fine. Zero cards. We win this game. There's the swamp. Much too late. Graveyard. Totally fine. Go. I think I'll keep that one on top. Any thoughts in chat about that one? Seems above average. I love playing out lands and they didn't play out land. I think 
we'll keep that one on top. They need a wrath and then some here. Tapper's not going to cut it. Yep. At this point, we actually get to alpha. feeling that one. Yeah. That's right. Okay, let's go. Paired against H. Shipley. And we're on the draw. Okay, well... Hopefully this won't be the death of us. We do have a keep. Love to rip a two drop off the top. I think we have a good matchup versus Island. I hope. I can't really imagine casting that. Hey Randall, we have a really, really good deck here. I'm very hopeful. Like, not only is every card in our deck very good, but we have Nemesis of Reason and Shipbreaker Kraken. Opponent is on Bant. Uh, it's scary. Make blue. I, I just have to add to the board and hope they don't do anything absurd with that guy. Just like counter this. They have like a dissipate, but I think they're up sixth. Yeah. Uh oh, here we go. Is so their blue green level? Now what? That's annoying. So, wait, why didn't they? That's kind of a weird one. Well, we're going to arrest that. Um, thanks for waiting to ask, I appreciate it. Um, not because I really have a strong preference one way or the other, but, you know, it's thoughtful of you. Uh, I keep my taskbar like this just because, um, it's helpful for me. But yeah, it does take up part of the screen, which is not great. What do you got? What do you got in there? Nice big old six drop for me. There it is. Well, I think I'm just supposed to attack. Oh, 
Oh yeah, just because I used to care a lot when people said that kind of stuff. I don't really care anymore. No, come back. All right. Well, what am I supposed to do? I really want to use Sandblast on that guy, if possible. Um, but the opponent might figure that out. So I guess I'm just supposed to play a 2-2 and play Bound by Moonsilver on it. I can always just move this one. Alright, H. Shipley. What do you got for me, bud? Love to draw land. If I don't draw land next turn, I will probably cancel the Sorotami look for land and then do one of these two. Yes, stay back with your creature, please. We're also on seven lands, so their Vortex Runner is about to get better. There's another Chonkaroo. Oh, okay. That's fine. Fine, fine, fine. So now we get to go Sorotami. Boop. I'm gonna boop that snoot. I'm gonna find land. Land, now we're gonna attack with both. Opponent's gonna block, we're gonna play Sandblast. And we're gonna pass the turn. <laughs> and Finite wins. Let's go. Let's go, Chad. <sighs> yeah, that makes a lot of sense, Randall. Mana burning down to five sounds... I don't know if it sounds good, but at least, like, it kind of makes sense. All right, I think we want to keep the deck the same. Okay, we're going to keep this hand. <laughs> These lands are a little clunky. I can imagine losing a game where I draw all lands. Ah, okay. Mm-hmm. I'm just playing some random cards in their deck. We are drawing some lands. And the land adjacents like McKinney Stampede. Boop. There's a line where I can block with this, tap and enchant it, and I just have nothing. Nice, okay. That's the, ooh, love it. So let's, let's attack first. If they have a two, three flash flyer, then I do get punished for not playing land, but I have tap, whoops, I have tap land in my deck, so I think it's fine to do this. They did not play flash flyer. Shirt. Hey stream team, we have the insane deck that we drafted earlier. Temporal is um, prevent all damage. I don't know if that's what you were asking at all. <laughs> Okay, nice. Now here they come with the um, pinger. Okay. Oh, I see. Yeah, I, I see what you mean, no stream team. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure either, Randall, but that sounds like fun to me. I've never played with damage on the stack, and I always wanted to, so... Yeah, there is actually a line where we could, um, or wait. No, never mind. I was wrong about that. I misunderstood how that works. Uh, let's manifest Scholar, I guess? I don't know. No, let's manifest Nemesis of Reason. Put this card on top of my library. Woohoo, we did it, chat. They targeted the right one, that's for sure. Well, here we are. They want to block, that's fine. No, I don't think it does anything. One with the stars. I could turn this face up, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't do anything, except for maybe bugs out Moto. And I don't want to... Like, I have a perfectly... Yeah, okay. There we go. Finally, we've overtaken a Moz. Only took almost 13 hours. This deck was unbelievably good. Like, every card in it is good. There are good 2-drops, good 3-drops, good 4-drops, good 5-drops, good 6-drops. There's good removal, good card advantage, good interaction, which is basically the same as removal. I think this is just the best deck I've drafted all season.